next we move on to the box plot okay and for drawing the box plot we will use the time spent column from your ott platform data set so again it can be done in the same way because for if you see over here we are directly using the histogram this plt dot histogram function similarly for box plot also you can use plt dot box plot to create the box plot so that is easy so just let me write it create a box plot okay create a box plot so we can use your first of all we will write specify the size so plt dot figure fix size 10 by 2 then we will write plt dot box plot and here we want in your data set we want to focus on the time spent column so we have to write that over here time spent it specifies that we are going to focus on this particular column in your data set now in box plot you do not want the it to appear vertically rather we want it in a horizontal fashion so we will write vertical as false and then we will also mention the width as 0.7 okay so width of the box will be set to 0.7 units also here in since it is in horizontal pad fashion so your in y axis we do not want any tick marks or labels right so it will effectively hide the y axis so if you just plot dot y ticks so it will remove that and we can finally write the title plot dot title so it will be box plot for ages or sorry it will be box plot for the time spent box plot for time spent this will be your heading and since there is no y axis we just need the label for your x axis so that we mention as the time spent okay and finally let us display that x sorry the spelling of label is incorrect yeah so you now have a box plot for the time spent okay so by looking at it you can see that the median time is somewhere around 5 hours and q1 or q3 that is a spread of the box and iqr it goes from somewhere around 2.5 or 6 till 7 point something so this is how you create your box plot so if you have a single numerical variable you can use your dot plot but as we have seen it has certain drawbacks so instead of that you can draw a histogram and obviously you have the other option to draw a box plot okay so all three are used for creating or visualizing numerical variables when you have a single numerical variable now what can happen is that you might have two numerical variables and in that case you want to see the relationship between those two variables for instance if you can remember in categorical variables also what we did first we saw for single numer single categorical variable that were your uh, bar chart and pie chart and then we moved on to two categorical variables where we created a contingency table and then we also made a stacked bar chart so in a similar fashion here also we can focus on two numerical variables and for that we need to draw a scatter plot so till now we were considering the data set that is your ott platform data set and then extracting a column from it to draw different plots for instance here we focused on time spent 
and here we directly took this ages column from there. So instead of that, you might have to enter your own values, right? So you have to add the data points individually. So you need to create a data frame for that. So let so here I will just tell you how to do that, and with the help of those data that data frame, we are going to generate a scatter plot. So let us first create. So we are going to create a scatter plot. And in this, we are going to create first a data frame, a data frame, a new data frame we are going to create. So the data frame would be df is equal to, so from pandas library, we are going to extract this data frame, the data frame. So it is going to create a data frame in pandas and the name of the data frame would be df and how do we do that so suppose you want to draw a scatter plot for scatter plot between age and time spent okay so we need age values so let us define age as suppose 29 50 34 or maybe you can say 54, 57. So these are some ages that we are just entering. 46, 59, 23, 21, 24 or suppose 26. Right. And what else do we need over here? Next one will be your time spent. Okay, so that also we will write time underscore spent. So let us just mention those 2, 5.7, 0 0.8, 4.7, 6.3, 8.7 on the last one. So, we are taking 12 entries over here, 8.7 and 9.1, okay. So, first this bracket will end, then we need curly bracket and a round bracket okay so this code basically would create a pandas data frame named df and it would contain the columns age and time spent so here if you need to create a data frame first of all then you need to mention it in this way right you need to write the name of the column and the corresponding entries okay So I made something here, so it should be the formatting is now 2.2 and 2, 2.2 and then there should be 5.7, okay, so that is why, okay, yeah, good. So now once you have created this data frame, now you can draw a scatter plot using it. You will use this plt.scatter. So if you remember, we have used the same thing for creating the dot plot also. So now since it is the data frame is your df, so we are going to focus on that. And from df, we are going to take your age and time spent. So age will be your x axis in that case. So let me just write age here, age and the other one will be df time spent. So the label x label will be age y label will be your time spent okay 
and the title obviously we can give as so let us just uh, problem you can write it plt dot title so we can give the name as scatter plot and then finally it will be plt dot show to display so this is how your scatter plot looks like so here if you see when the ages so for young users who are aged between 22 to 25 so they spend more time on the ott platform and you can see that as the person ages so the users spend more uh, spend less time on these ott platforms you can make it four 0.5 so that you can see right so some pattern basically you can see that it is in decreasing way so as the age increases the time spent on the ott platform also decreases so since this is just a sample data set just for 12 values you can have you can add more points to get a proper um, pattern over here so we have seen for so we have seen separately for categorical variables and we have seen separately for your uh, numerical variables also now there might be situations where you have to investigate the relationship between categorical and your numerical so in such a case we have your side by side box plot so before going into that we can also look into your um, correlation coefficient in this case because here you have a scatter plot right so you have two numerical variables we can also look at their uh, correlation coefficient let me just write so let the x variable be your age and y variable be your time spent and we want the correlation coefficient correlation underscore coefficient between x variable that is your age x variable dot c o double r so this is basically a pandas method which is used to calculate the pearson correlation coefficient between two columns so here you have x variable and on the other side you have cor df y underscore variable so let me see what is the correlation coefficient over here it is minus 0.56 so we know that correlation coefficient varies from minus 1 to 1 so if you get a negative value it means that there is a negative linear relationship between these two variables it means that as the as one variable increase that is as the age increases the other tends to decrease so as the age increased the time spent decreased so side by side box plot is basically used to compare the relation between a numerical and a categorical variable so basically we are going to draw side by side box plots to compare the distribution of the time spent by different subscription plans or by users in different subscription tiers so let us see what are those so first of all in this case if you can recall the subscription plans there are three types of subscription plans basic premium and ultra and you will have time spent column so to begin with we will create a dictionary first create a dictionary to map your subscription plans subscription plans to their corresponding data so first of all 
let me just write this dictionary name subscription data so it is a python dictionary that will basically map each subscription plan that is basic premium and ultra to the corresponding data series containing the time spent values so here we first initialize this dictionary so the keys over here will basically so let me just write and then i will explain so basic this is the key over here and data from data you will have subscription plan if the subscription plan is basic then you will extract the corresponding time spent okay so same thing you can do for so this bracket over here okay so same thing we can just copy from here for premium and also for this so premium and this last one is ultra so here we have premium and here we have ultra so basically what we are doing over here is that we are creating a python dictionary so where your keys so if you remember dictionary will have a key and a value so keys basically refer to the subscription plans that is basic premium and ultra and values basically these are the pandas series that contain the time spent data for each plan so what we do here for each plan if you see what we are doing is we are applying a condition to this data data frame that we have right first of all we check this condition over here what is it it will create a boolean series and it will give true for those rows where the subscription plan is basic and for other rows it will give false okay so this boolean series that you get is then used to filter out your time spent column from the data frame so the result will be it will be a pandas series that will contain the time spent values for your basic subscribers similarly you will obtain for premium it will check for it will check for this so wherever you have premium users it will give true for that value true for those rows otherwise it will give false and so basically you will extract the time spent columns from that and finally the same process will be repeated for your ultra subscriber also so you have created a dictionary that is subscription data where each key is basically your subscription plan that is mapped to the time spent data according to the plan okay now we can create a list of subscription plans and the order in which we need it so let me just write subscription plans so the list basically is the specific so you are going to specify the order in which you want the subscription plans to appear in the box plots okay so first of all if you need the basic one so you will write that name so basic then you will write premium next you will write ultra now you can create the side by side box plot so let us set the figure size fig size 10 by 4 next we will use plt dot box plot to create the box plot over here side by side box plots so we will write subscription data this thing for plan in subscription plans vert so we don't want it to appear vertically and we want the labels to be 
subscription plans these so what we have done over here is that we have created a list comprehension that will extract this the time spent data that you have obtained here for each subscription plan so first of all suppose it goes for basic then it will extract the time spent from this subscription data and likewise it will move ahead okay so it will create side by side box plots so we can just see how it appears yes so you can mention the title and the x axis also x label that can be time spent so here if you see you have the three side by side box plots for three categories of subscription plan that is basic premium and ultra if you look over here you can see that most moreover their spread and medians are same the center and the spread of the users of the time spent basically is approximately the same so if you look at the median time first of all over here so you can see that the medium time is the highest in case of your premium category although it is same it is around somewhere around 5.6 and if you look at the variation also then that is the spread that is also the maximum in the case of premium category so it is q1 if you see it is around somewhere around 2.5 or and this one here it goes up to 7.7 .7 or 7.8 so you can interpret likewise for these different plans also so this completes your third week thank you